monsters A, B, C A, B, C monsters A, B, C monsters With Alice and Brian and Cherry Berry too They're seeking of monsters There are a few And Alphabet Garden is the monsters' home But they like to wonder They love to roam Everyone, it's another wonderful day in Capital Town. Wow, what was that? That was Cherry Berry. I wonder what she's doing. Shall we take a look and see? Hey, look, everyone, there's T Monster and A Monster carrying a target. Can you guess what it's for? It looks like they're going to be playing with bows and arrows, doesn't it? Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. The sign reads ABC Archery Contest. So that means that the ABC monsters are going to have a contest to see who is the best shot with a bow and arrow. There's A Monster, polishing the first prize. A big shiny cup. Who do you think will win the cup this year, A Monster? I hope it's me. I've been practicing all year to win this. <clears throat> Attention, everybody. I have a very important announcement. By royal decree, I hereby open this year's ABC Archery Competition. <laughs> May the best shot win! Would the contestants come and collect their arrows from the box? Uh-oh! This won't do at all. It seems we only have one arrow. And we need enough arrows for everyone taking part. I'm sorry, everybody. But we're going to have to cancel this year's contest. <gasps> Oh dear, the monsters are disappointed. Nobody will get to win the big shiny gold cup. Hmm, I think someone is missing. Alice dear, can you check that all the ABC monsters are here? Okay, Mom. So, with a wave of Cherry Berry's gesture stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Look carefully. One of the ABC monsters is missing. Can you guess which one it is? B, C, D, E. Hmm. Oh, I know. That's right. The missing letter is A. So A monster has disappeared. We better hurry up and find him. Let's look in the ABC book. The clue says, Amy the alligator needs this item to help her swim. The ABC book is pointing towards northeast. Let's go! Alice, Brian and Cherryberry had not been walking for long when suddenly... Hey! <laughs> what happened to you, Brian? <laughs> yes, you're all wet! But Alice and Cherryberry did think it was funny. <laughs> well, that was until... That wasn't funny. Let's find out where the water's coming from. Look, everybody. It's Amy Alligator. Hello, Amy. 
What are you doing here? Hello, Alice. A monster said it was about time I learned to swim. But I've lost one of the inflatable armbands he gave me. I'll sink without them. Don't worry, Amy. We'll find your armband for you. The missing armband looks just like this one. Hmm. You must have dropped it on the floor. So let's start there. Can you help Alice, Brian and Cherryberry find Amy Alligator's missing armband? Is it with the flippers? No. Could it be with those comfy looking sandals? Oh dear, it's not there either. Do you have any idea where Amy Alligator's armband could be? Look carefully. Can you see it? That's right! It's over by the inflatable beach balls. Well done! You found it! Oh, thank you so much! I'll be able to learn to swim and join in with my friends now that I have my other armband. Armband! That's it! The answer to the first clue! Amy the alligator needs this item to help her swim. Armband! A R M B A N D! Armband! We've solved the first clue! Here's your second clue. See if you can work this one out. This item is missing from Farmer Alex's lunchbox. I hope you find a monster soon! And so Alice, Brian and Cherryberry waved goodbye to Amy Alligator and continued on their journey. I think we are lost. And my tummy's rumbling. It must be nearly lunchtime. You're always hungry. Suddenly, they heard a noise. Listen, can you hear that? Look, it's Farmer Alex. Hello, Farmer Alex. What are you doing here? It's lunchtime, and I always come here to sit on that log and eat my lunch. See? I told you it was lunchtime. <laughs> oh dear! I've got my lunch all over the floor. Here's my sandwiches, my drink, and my yogurt. Oh no! Where's my apple? It must have rolled away somewhere. Don't worry, Farmer Alex. We'll help you find it. Can you help Alice, Brian and Cherryberry find Farmer Alex's apple? Look very closely. Can you see a big juicy apple? Is it near those rocks? No! Hmm, could it be hiding behind that tree stump? It's not there either. I wonder where it could be. Have you spotted it yet? That's right! The apple is in the rabbit hole. Well done! You found it! Thank you! Lunchtime wouldn't be the same without a tasty apple! Apple! That's the answer to the second clue! This item is missing from Farmer Alex's lunchbox. Apple! A P P L E! Apple! We're another step closer to finding a monster. You're looking for a monster? I might be able to help you there. I spoke to him today. Here's a clue that will lead you to him. A monster needs more of this type of item to hold an archery contest. I hope that clue helps you find him. Thank you, Farmer Alex. So Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry waved goodbye to Farmer Alex and set off to find a monster. Hey, what does that say? It says Alan Ames Archery Club. Wow. That's weird. We were going to have an archery contest today at the castle. Listen! It's coming from behind those bushes. Wow! Good 
shot. Look, it's a monster. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Fancy seeing you here. We've been trying to find you ever since you disappeared. I just needed to see my archery instructor, Alan Aim. Alan has been teaching me archery this year. King Wordy said we needed more arrows to have the competition. I thought I'd ask Alan if he could lend us some from the club. Here you go, A monster. This should be enough. Thank you, Alan. This is much better. We could never have held a proper archery contest with only one arrow. Arrow! Of course! That's the answer to the final clue. A monster needs more of this type of item to hold an archery contest. Arrow! A R R O W Arrow! We solved all the puzzles, met new friends, and found a monster. Hooray! Later that day, Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry watched the ABC monsters as they used their new arrows in the archery competition. And do you know who won? That's right! A monster! We aim to please! Hello everyone! Welcome to another edition of ABC Monsters Brainy Gang! Say a big Brainy Gang hello to our friends Alice, Brian and Cherry Berry! Today, we're going to find out about the amazing letter A. But first, we'll need the help of a special member of the Brainy Gang, A Monster. A Monster enjoys singing, so we're all going to sing his favorite song. Monster has a tasty red apple. Here comes Cherry Berry. Do you know what letter the apple has turned into? That's right! It's the letter A. A. All together now. Say it with me. A. <laughs> Look at A Monster! He's polishing the letter A. Let's see if you can write the letter A with A monster. Have you got your paper and pencil? Okay then, we're drawing a big A. Brilliant! That's a great looking letter A. Let's try that again. A big A. Wonderful work! Another beautiful letter A. Ha ha ha! A monster's very happy because he can now write his favorite letter, A. Now we all know how to write the letter A. Take a look at the following words that begin with A. Do you know what this object is called? Here's a clue. It's filled with air and you wear it on your arm to help you swim. Shout out the answer if you know. That's right! It's an armband. Armband. A-R-M-B-A-N-D Armband 
That's right. Let's say it one more time. Armband. A R M B A N D. Armband. Okay. Here's puzzle number two for you to solve. Can you guess what this tasty-looking fruit is called? It grows on a tree, is green in color, or sometimes red. Have you worked out what it's called? That's right! It's called an apple. Now let's see what the word apple looks like. Apple. A-P-P-L-E. Apple. Well done! Let's say that again. Apple. A P P L E. Apple. You've answered the first two questions correctly. Are you ready for the next clue? Do you know what this object is? Here's a clue. You fire them from a bow, and a monster needed to collect lots of this item before the start of the archery tournament. Have you worked out the answer yet? That's right! It's an arrow! And here's what the word arrow looks like. Say it with me. Arrow. A-R-R-O-W. Arrow. That's right! Let's say it together once more. Arrow. A-R-R-O-W. Arrow. Excellent! You solved all three puzzles. Can you think of any more amazing words that begin with the letter A? Everyone in the Brainy Gang needs to keep fit and active. So get ready for another fun-packed ABC Monster Move. Hello, everyone. Clap your hands in the air if you want to have some fun. That was fun, wasn't it? Now you are warmed up. It's time to get active with the ABC Monsters. And today, we'll be doing the A Monster exercise. Watch Alice closely as she shows you what to do. It's easy. If Alice can do it, so can you. Are you ready? Here we go. Use your body to make a big A. That's it. That wasn't so hard, was it? Shall we try that again? A big A! That's it! Now you know the A monster move. We can all do it together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. That was easy, wasn't it? Let's see if you can do it again. Are you ready? Okay then. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Brilliant! You've just completed the A monster move. Now let's have a short rest to get our breath back. Because next, it's the ABC Monster Quest. Look, everybody. It's Amy Alligator. Hello, Amy. Where are you going? Hello, everyone. I'm off to practice my swimming with my new inflatable armbands, but I've forgotten the way to the swimming pool. Don't worry, Amy. We'll guide you to the swimming pool. Can you help Amy Alligator find her way to the swimming pool? Just fill in the box with the correct letter and help guide her along the path. Can you tell me which one fits correctly in the box to make a word? Is it N, P, or the letter I? That's right! The correct letter is P. Apple. A, P, P, L, E. Apple. You solved the first word correctly. But can you work out this next puzzle? Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Letter R, Z, 
or Q. Well done! You're right again! The letter we need to put into the box is R. Arrow. A R R O W. Arrow. Well done! Now for the final puzzle. Do you think you can complete it? Which letter should we put into the box? Is it D? K? Or could it be the letter F? Excellent answer! You've picked the correct letter again. The letter D. Well done! Three out of three. Armband. A R M B A N D. Armband. Brilliant! You've cleverly guided Amy Alligator to the swimming pool. Thank you, everyone! Hooray! That's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed finding out about our featured letter, Amazing A. But before we go, let's sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherry Berry, and our very special star of the show, A Monster. the Brainy Gang again for some more fun and adventures with the ABC Monsters! find out in Capital Castle. Let's take a look and see. Wow! There's a lot of bicycles here in Alphabet Garden this morning. Hmm, the banner reads Capital Town Bicycle Race. So that's why all the monsters have bicycles. They're all taking part in a race. Monster's bicycle has been knocked over. I hope it's not broken. <sighs> That's a relief. Bee Monster's bicycle is okay. Uh-oh. Bee Monster's bicycle bell is broken. Look who's here. It's King Wordy, Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry. Hello, children. It's nearly time for the big race. We need to make sure that all the monsters are on their bicycles and ready to start. Don't worry, King Wordy. Leave it to us. And so Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry began to round up the ABC monsters when suddenly... Hey, everyone. I wonder who this bicycle belongs to. Beats me. Everyone seems to be on their bicycles. Oh, no. I hope one of them hasn't gone missing. We'd better check before the race starts. So, with a wave of Cherry Berry's gesture stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song. 
Monsters is missing. But can you guess which one? A, C, D, E. Hmm, it's not G. Oh, I know. That's right. The missing letter is B. It's B, Monster, that has disappeared. Maybe the ABC book can help us find B, Monster. The clue says this is the name of an object that Benny the Bunny keeps his blueberries in. The ABC book is telling us to go north. We'd better hurry. The race starts soon. Before long, Alice, Brian and Cherryberry found themselves in the countryside. Away from Capital Town. Are you sure we're heading in the right direction, Cherry Berry? Yes, Brian. The ABC book is pointing towards that small hill over there. Fantastic! I'll race you both to the hill. Okay then. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> I win! <laughs> no way! I win! Now, now. I think you'll find that it was a draw. Okay, that seems fair. So we all won then. Hooray! Hello, kids. What are you doing here? Look, everybody. It's Benny Bunny. Hello, Hello Benny. Benny. We're looking for Bee Monster. Have you seen him? Yes, he was here not so long ago. In fact, I have a clue that will help you find him. But first, I need your help. We'd love to help. What do you want us to do? I've lost my bucket that I keep my blueberries in. It's here somewhere. Can you find it for me? Can you help Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry find Benny Bunny's bucket? Look carefully. It could be anywhere. Is it next to the rock? No, it's not there. Could it be under the bushes? Oh dear, I can't see it. Can you? Well done! You found Benny Bunny's bucket. My bucket! Oh, thank you! Bucket! That's the answer to the first clue. The ABC book said, this is the name of an object that Benny the Bunny keeps his blueberries in. Bucket! B, U, C, K, E, T. Bucket! We've completed the first puzzle. Hooray! Well done. Now here's another clue for you to solve. Bobby Bat needs help to find a yellow fruit with this name. I hope this clue helps you. Good luck! And so Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry waved goodbye to Benny Bunny and continued on their journey. I wonder where we're going to find Bobby Bat. According to the ABC book, he should be hanging around here somewhere. Let's ask him. Hello? Have you seen Bobby Bat? We think he lives somewhere around here. Yes, I've seen Bobby Bat. He's right here. What can I do for you then? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you hanging upside down? All bats rest upside down. It's just what we do. That's so cool. We're trying to find our friend Bee Monster, and we think you might have seen him. Bee Monster? Yes, I've seen him today. I'll give you a clue that will help you find him. If you can help me in return. What would you like us to do? I'm a fruit bat. I eat all sorts of fruit. But my favorite fruit of all are bananas. Bee Monster left a banana for me somewhere in the garden. Can you find it? Can you help Alice, Brian and Cherryberry find the missing banana? Is it near the shed? No. Is it on the table? That's right. The banana is on the table. Well done. Yay! 
yum. I love a nice, tasty banana. Banana! That's the answer to the second clue. Bobby the Bat needs help to find a yellow fruit with this name. Banana! B-A-N-A-N-A. -N -A -N -A. Banana! Thanks, everyone. And here's a clue to find Bee Monster. Bee Monster needs this special small item for his bicycle before he can enter the race. Goodbye, everyone, and good luck with your quest. So Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry wave goodbye to Bobby Bat. Hey, can you hear that? I wonder what that is. Let's investigate. Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry followed the sound, which led them to a workman. He's fixing the road with his roller and the squeak is coming from his large rolling wheel. Shh! I can hear another noise. Follow me. And so Alice and Brian followed Cherry Berry until they found the source of the sound. A carpenter sawing wood. That's not Bee Monster. Then Brian heard something. Hey! Listen to that. It's coming from that direction. Let's find out what it is. Bicycle shop! Wow! Look at all the new bicycles! Look, everyone! Guess who's inside the shop? Look carefully and see if you can spot who Cherry Berry has seen. Have you worked out who it is yet? That's right! It's Bee Monster! Hello, Bee Monster! We've been looking everywhere for you. It's nearly time for the big bicycle race. What are you doing here? I needed to visit my friend, Mr. Brown. My bell broke on my bicycle and I needed a replacement before the big race. So he came here to Brown's Bicycle Shop. We sell everything you could ever need for cycling. Here you go, Bee Monster. Is this what you are looking for? That's the one. It sounds just like my old bell. Bell, of course. Remember what the ABC book said? Yes, that's right. The ABC book said, Bee Monster needs this special small item for his bicycle before he can enter the race. A bell. B-E-L-L. -L. Bell. We solved all the puzzles met new friends, and found Bee Monster! Hooray! Later that day, Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry cheered loudly as their friend Bee Monster crossed the finish line. And guess who came first? That's right, Bee Monster! I feel swell now that I have my bag. Hello everyone! Welcome to another fun-packed ABC Monsters Brainy Gang! Say a big Brainy Gang hello to our friends Alice, Brian and Cherry Berry. Together, we'll be finding out about the letter B. And to help us learn about this brilliant letter of the alphabet, meet B Monster! Hello B Monster! Let's start with a song that B Monster loves to sing. This song is all about the letter B. Monster B has disappeared. Alice and the gang have volunteered to search the castle in every spot. Solving clues they enjoy a lot Bananas and buckets Bicycles in the race We have to get those tickets Bananas and buckets Bicycles in the race Monster B wins in first place <laughs> Here, Alice and the gang have volunteered to search the castle. 
special in every spot. Solving clues they enjoy a lot. Bananas and buckets, bicycles in the race. We have to get those tickets. Bananas and buckets, bicycles in the race. We have to get those tickets. Bananas and buckets, bicycles in the race. Monster B wins in first place. Let's see what fun things we can learn today. And here comes Cherry Berry. Look everyone, B Monster's bicycle has changed into a letter B. B. All together now, say it with me. B. <laughs> Look at B Monster. He's ringing his bell on the letter B. So, can you write the letter B? Let's all write it with B Monster. Have you got your paper and pencil ready? Okay then. We're drawing a big B. Wonderful! Let's do it again. A big B. That's it. Well done. B. Now that we all know how to write the letter B, let's take a look at some new words that begin with brilliant B. Can you tell us what this object is called? It has a handle at the top and you can carry water or loose materials such as sand in it. That's right! It's called a bucket. Bucket. B-U-C-K-E-T. Bucket. All together, let's say it one more time. Bucket. B-U-C-K-E-T. Bucket. That was great fun! Let's do another one, shall we? Do you know what this delicious fruit is called? It's got a yellow skin that you can peel and it grows in very tall trees. That's right! It's called a banana! Now let's see what the word banana looks like. Banana B A N A N a. Banana. Excellent. Let's do it again. Banana. B-A-N-A-N-A. -A -A. Banana. You've correctly answered two of the questions. Let's see if you can get this one right as well. This is a slightly harder one to solve, but I'm sure you can do it. This is a loud object that you would find on your bicycle. It makes a ding-a-ling sound when it rings. That's right! It's a bell! Now here's what the word bell looks like. Say it with me. Bell. B-E-L-L. -L. Bell. That's right! Let's say it together one more time. Bell. B. Fantastic! Can you think of any more words that begin with the letter B? Everyone in the Brainy Gang needs to keep fit and active. So get ready for another fun-packed ABC Monster Move. Hi kids! Are you ready to get fit? Let's see you standing up. Clap your hands in the air if you want to have some fun. That's great! It's time to get fit with the ABC Monsters. And today, we'll be doing the B Monster exercise. Watch Alice, everybody. She'll show you what to do. It's easy. If Alice can do it, so can you. Here we go. Use your body to make a big B. Easy, wasn't it? Ready to do it again? A big B. Brilliant! Now you know what to do. Let's all do it together. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three. Two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Fantastic! 
wasn't that easy? Ready to do it again? Okay then. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four, and three. Two, three, four, four. Two, three, four. Wow! You certainly got the hang of this exercise. Let's have a short rest because soon you'll need all your wits about you for the ABC Monster Quest. Here comes Bobby Bat. Hello, Bobby. What are you doing here? Hello, everyone. I'm looking for a nice tasty banana, but I can't find one anywhere. Can you help me? Don't worry, Bobby. We'll help you find a banana. Can you help Bobby Bat find a nice tasty banana? Just fill in the box with the correct letter to help guide Bobby along the garden path. Listen carefully. Can you tell me which is the correct letter to go into the first box? Is it A, U, or could it be P? That's right! The correct letter is U. Bucket. B, U, C, K, E, T. Bucket. You're doing really well. Now let's take a look at puzzle number two. Can you tell me which letter we should put into the first box? Is it E? Could it be O? Or is it D? That's right! The letter we should put into the box is E. Bell. B E L L. Bell. Well done! Now for the final puzzle. Are you ready? Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Is it the letter Q? T? Or maybe it's the letter B? You're right again! The letter we should put into the box is B. Banana. B. A. N. A. N. A. Banana. Congratulations. You've helped Bobby Bat find a banana. Thank you, everyone. Hooray! That's all we have time for today. And I hope you enjoyed finding out about the brilliant letter B. So let's finish today's show with some music. Join in and sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherryberry, and today's very special star, B Monster. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Don't forget to join the Brainy Gang again for some more fun and adventures with the ABC Monsters.
everyone! Capital Town is very noisy today. Can you hear the music too? Look! It's Alice and her friend Brian. I wonder if they know where the music is coming from. Look over there, Brian! Hello! I hope we'll be seeing both of you at the Big Top Circus today and bring your family and friends. It's going to be an amazing show! <laughs> Fantastic! I love the circus! Let's tell the others! Within Capital Castle is Alphabet Garden, magical home of the ABC Monsters. There's Cherry Berry, the court jester, playing catch with Sea Monster. In the flower bed is F Monster, helping Alice's mom, Queen Scribble, water her favorite flowers. And there's hmm. Alice's dad, King Wordy, playing tennis hmm. with Tea Monster. Yay, I win, I win! Ooh. Look, Dad, the circus is here! A circus? How wonderful! The clowns are my favorite! <laughs> They're so funny! We should all take a trip to the Big Top Circus. Good idea! I'll make an announcement. <laughs> <clears throat> By royal decree, I'm taking everyone to the circus. Hooray! <laughs> hmm. I think someone is missing. Alice, dear, can you check that all the ABC monsters are here? Okay, Mom. And with a wave of Cherry Berry's jester stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Worked it out yet? A, B, D, E. Hmm. Oh, I know. That's right. The missing letter is C. <gasps> C monster is missing. Oh dear. How can we all go to the circus if C monster is missing? Don't worry, King Wordy. We'll find C monster for you. Where do we start looking? Capital Town is a very big place! Easy! We start with this! The ABC Book! The clue says, look for the man in a tall white hat. Look! The ABC Book is telling us to go north! Let's go, Alice! Man in the tall white hat? Well done! You found him! Call him the cook! That's it! The man in the tall white hat is a cook! And cook is the word we were looking for! C O O K! Cook! It fits! We're looking for our friend Sea Monster! Have you seen him? Yes, I've seen him! He's the reason I closed my cafe today. He bought all my tasty custard pies. Now I haven't got any to sell to my customers. Oh dear, maybe we can help. Okay, help me create a new recipe for my customers 
And I'll give you a clue to help you find Sea Monster. Maybe the ABC book can help us with a new recipe. Chocolate ice cream, carrot cakes. Mm. Ooh, how about a cherry cake? Perfect. We can name it after you. We'll call it the Cherry Berry Cake. Hooray! <laughs> some cherry berry cake for your journey. Fantastic! Cherry berry cakes sure are yummy. Thanks to you three, I'll be able to keep the cafe open today. So here's the clue I promised you. Look for something hairy with four hands. Four hands? Good luck finding your friend. So they thought and thought, and thought some more, until... Everybody seems to have two hands. Look! One, two. Yes, how could someone have four hands? All this thinking is making me hungry. Yes, let's have some cherry berry cake. Mmm, delicious! Hey! Oh no! Our cake has been kidnapped! <laughs> Hello, I'm Charlie. I'm sorry about your cake, but I haven't had any dinner yet. And I was so hungry. That's when Alice noticed something important about Charlie. Have you guessed what it is yet? <gasps> Look! He's got four hands! One, two, and on the end of his legs, three, four. And he's hairy. I'm supposed to be hairy. I'm a chimp. All chimpanzees have extra hands so that we can climb trees and hang on to branches. Oh, yes. The answer to the clue is chimp. Someone hairy with four hands is a chimp. Chimp is the word we were looking for. C-H-I-M-P. Chimp. That's me, Charlie the Chimp. Why were you hiding up in the tree? I'm lost. I'm from the circus, but I wandered off and I can't find my way back. Don't worry, Charlie. We'll help you get back home. Let's see what the book says. Hmm, the ABC book says, look for people with red noses that are acting silly. This is where you will find Sea Monster. I wonder what that means. Let's find out. <laughs> it wasn't long before Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry ran into another of their friends. Look, it's Cindy the Cow. <laughs> Hello, Cindy. Hello, everyone. Why aren't you in your usual field today? The gate is locked and I can't get in. Hmm, that's strange. I wonder why. That's exactly what Sea Monster said. Sea Monster? Have you seen him today? Yes, I told him the circus had moved into the field for a few days. Sea Monster got very excited and went to look for it. Just walk to the end of the lane and you'll find the circus. Thanks, Cindy. <laughs> Here we are then. But which field should we choose? They all look alike. Can you help Alice, Brian and Cherryberry choose the correct field containing the circus? Which field do you think the circus is in? Is it field one? Perhaps it's field two. What about field three? Or maybe it's field four. Which field do you think they should choose? That's right! The circus is in field three. Well done! That's it! I can see the big top circus tent from here! You found my home! Yeah. Yeah. You found my home! <laughs> Hello, 
everyone. What are you doing here? We've been searching for you. Oh, when I heard the circus was in town, I just had to come and meet the clowns. I've always wanted to be one. Then Pogo, the head clown, invited me to join them for this afternoon's opening performance. Just then, Cherry Berry remembered something very important. Of course! The final clue in the ABC book. Look for people with red noses who are acting silly. This is where you will find Sea Monster. Clowns wear red noses and are very silly, so... C-L-O-W-N! Clown! Clown is the final word we were looking for. We solved all the puzzles. Met new friends. And found Sea Monster. Hooray! <laughs> Why Sea Monster bought all of Colin the Cook's custard pies. That afternoon, King Morty, Queen Scribble, and all the ABC monsters had a wonderful time at the circus. Especially Sea Monster the Clown. Hello everyone! Welcome to the ABC Monsters Brainy Gang. This is Alice, Brian and Cherry Berry. Together, we'll be finding out about a very special letter of the alphabet. This is our friend. His name is C Monster. And C is the letter of the alphabet that we'll be learning about today. But first, let's all sing a special song about the letter C. Are you ready? Did you enjoy that song? Let's see what fun things we can learn today. Here's Cherry Berry. And look! The tree is now the letter C. C. All together now. Repeat after me. C. C. <laughs> Look at silly sea monster. He really likes the letter C, doesn't he? Now, can you write the letter C? Let's all write it with sea monster. Are you ready? Are you steady? Here we go. We're drawing a big C. Wasn't that easy? Let's do it again. A big C. That's right. C. You're getting really good at this. C Monster is very happy. Now he can write his favorite letter, the letter C. Now that you've mastered writing the letter C, let's look at some fun new words that start with, you guessed it, C. Can you work out what this man might be? He works in a kitchen and makes tasty food to eat. Have you worked out the answer yet? That's right! He's a cook! 
cook. C O O K. Cook. Shall we all say it together one more time? Cook. C O O K. Cook. Brilliant. That was very good. Let's take a look at another one. Do you know what type of animal this is? Here's a clue. He's small, hairy, and eats lots of bananas. That's right. He's a chimp. Now let's see what the word looks like. Chimp. C H I M P. Chimp. Splendid. Let's do it again. Chimp. C H I M P. Chimp. You really are very good at this. You would find this person working in a circus. She's wearing a red nose, face paint, and colorful clothes. Her job is to make people laugh. Can you guess what she is? That's right! She's a clown! Now, here's what the word clown looks like. Say it with me. Clown. C L O W N. Clown. Shall we all say it together one more time? Clown. C L O W N. Clown. Fantastic. We learn three fun words together. Can you think of any more words that begin with the letter C? Now, let's get active and do some ABC monster moves. Hello everybody! Stand up and get ready to have some fun. Now clap your hands in the air like this. Great work everyone! Now it's time to get fit with the ABC Monsters. And today, we'll be doing the C Monster Move. Watch Brian and he'll show you what to do. It's very easy and fun. You can do it. Are you ready? Here we go. Use your body to make a big C. That's it. Wasn't it? Let's do it again. Are you ready? A big C. Great. Now let's all do it together with the music. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four, and three. Two, three, four, four. Two, three, four. That was brilliant. Let's do it again. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four, and three. Two, three, four, four. Two, three, four. Wow! You're super fit! Okay then, have a quick rest because you'll need to be ready for the ABC Monster Quest. Hey, look! It's Charlie Chimp! What you doing here? <laughs> Hello, I'm Charlie. I'm lost. I'm from the circus. But I wandered off and I can't find my way back. Don't worry. We'll help you find your way back home. Can you help Charlie find his way home? It's easy. Just fill in the box with the correct letter and Charlie will find his way home. Do you know which letter we should put into the box? Is it E? Could it be O? Or is it L? Yes, the letter we should put into the box is O. Cook. C O O K. Cook. Now, let's have a look at our second puzzle. Do you know which letter we should put into the box? 
Is it O? Could it be I? Or is it U? That's it! The letter we should put into the box is I. Chim. C H I M P. Chim. Now, here is the last puzzle. Can you solve it for Charlie the Chimp? Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Is it L? Maybe it's W? Or how about the letter A? You're correct again! The letter we should put into the box is L. Clown C L O W N Clown Congratulations! Charlie the Chimp has found his way home. All thanks to you. Woohoo! You found my home! Yay! You found my home! <laughs> Hooray! That's all we have time for today. So let's all sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherry Berry, and our very special star, Sea Monster. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Don't forget to join us again for some more fun and adventures with the ABC Monsters. Entering the Capital Town Dog Show. I wonder if the ABC Monsters will be going. Let's take a look and see. There's Queen Scribble planting some lovely yellow daffodils with Y Monster. Look! There's another dog. This breed is called a Dalmatian. Look, she's giving Y Monster a big doggy kiss. I wonder where the dog is going. There's Brian and Sea Monster. They're playing catch. Hey, come back with our ball. The dog is playing with the ball. I hope Brian and Sea Monster are quick enough to catch her. There's Alice and Cherry Berry playing with D Monster. Here's that dog again. <laughs> She's very friendly, isn't she? I wonder who she belongs to. Maybe she's lost. Let's ask Queen Scribble. She'll know what to do. And so Alice, Brian and Cherry Berry went to see Queen Scribble. Maybe he's from the dog show. You should take the dog there and see if he belongs to anyone. But when they went back to look for D-Monster and the dog, they were both gone. Oh no! I hope they haven't left Alphabet Garden. 
Let's check to see if all the ABC monsters are here. So, with a wave of Cherry Berry's jester stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song. The ABC monsters is missing, but can you guess which one? B, C, E, F? Hmm, that sounds funny. Oh, I know! That's right! The missing letter is D! So D monster has gone missing! Let's see if the ABC book knows where we can find her. The clue says... Donald the drummer is looking for his missing instrument. The ABC book is telling us to go northwest, towards the center of town. Let's find D Monster and the dog. Come on! Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry found themselves walking along the main road that leads into the center of Capital Town when suddenly. They play terrific music. Yes, I wish I could play an instrument. Look over there. It's Donald the drummer. Hello, Donald. Why aren't you playing in the band today? I can't find my drum. Without it, I have nothing to play. We can help you look for it. Thanks. I'm supposed to be joining others at the dog show. We're entertaining the audience with music until the show begins. Where did you last see your drum, Donald? Well, I just spoke to D-Monster a little while ago, and he said he'd seen it around here somewhere. You've seen D-Monster. That's great news. Really? Yes. We're all looking for him. Well, if you can help me find my drum, I'll give you a clue that will get you a stage closer to finding D-Monster. Look very carefully and see if you can help Alice, Brian and Cherry Berry find Donald the drummer's drum. Is it with the bicycle? Against the fence? Next to the hedge? By the cars? Or next to the lamppost? Well done! You found Donald the drummer's drum! Fantastic! I'll be able to rejoin the marching band now that I have my drum! Drum! That's the answer to the clue! The ABC book said Donald the drummer is looking for his missing instrument. Drum! D-R-U-M! Drum! Hooray! We've completed the first puzzle. Here's a second clue for you to solve. Dr. Drake's donut has been taken by this type of bird. I hope my clue helps you to track down D-Monster. Alice, Brian and Cherry Berry waved goodbye to Donald the drummer and continued on their journey. Look everyone, we're near the clinic. I bet that's where we'll find Dr. Drake. Let's find out. Alice and Brian were right. Dr. Drake was here. <laughs> hello, Dr. Drake. Oh, hello, Brian. Aren't you and your friends going to the dog show? I heard it's going to be a lot of fun. Yes, but first we have to find our friend D-Monster. Have you seen him? Uh, yes, he gave me a tasty donut, but I dropped it, and it landed around a duck's neck, and it ran off into the park. Oh, dear. I have an idea. We'll catch the duck and return your donut to you, if you can give us a clue to help us find D-Monster. That's a great idea. So Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry went off to the park to find Dr. Drake's donut-wearing duck. Hmm. I wonder which one of those ducks has Dr. Drake's donut. Can you see which duck has Dr. Drake's donut? We have five ducks in the pond. Count them with me. 
Are you ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. That's right. Five ducks. So which duck has the donut? Can you guess? Well done! Duck 3 had the donut all the time. Wonderful! It's my donut! Thank you for finding the correct duck. Duck! That's the answer to the second clue. Dr. Drake's donut has been taken by this type of bird. A duck had the donut. Duck! D U C K! Duck! Thank you all for helping me. So here's a clue that will lead you to D-Monster. D-Monster in the park, returning a lost pet. Brilliant! He's here in the park somewhere. Thank you, Dr. Drake. I'm off to the dog show. Good luck finding D-Monster. So Alice, Brian and Cherryberry waved goodbye to Dr. Drake and continued their search in the park. Almost everywhere. I wonder where D Monster could be. The clue definitely said she was in the park. We'll just have to keep searching. Can you hear that? Yes, it sounds very familiar. The sound is coming from behind those trees. Come on, let's take a look. Hey, wait for us, Brian. So Alice, Brian and Cherryberry went to investigate. Look! Is that the dog? It is! She is running away! Where is she going? Let's take a look! Reaching the other side of the trees, the three friends were in for a wonderful surprise! It's D-Monster! Hello everyone! I wasn't expecting to see you here. We've been looking for you. What are you doing here in the park? I found a name tag on the dog's collar. It said her name is Dottie. The tag also had her owner's name and address. She belongs to Danny Davison. I was so relieved when D-Monster brought Dottie back to me. I was very worried. We were just exercising Dottie before Danny enters her in the dog show. Who's a good dog? <laughs> Dog! Of course, that's what the final clue meant. D-Monster in the park returning a lost pet. Dottie is Danny's lost pet dog. D-O-G! Dog! Dog is the answer to the final clue. We solved all the puzzles. Met new friends. And found D-Monster. Hooray! <laughs> Later that day, D-Monster helped Danny at the dog show as Dottie the Dalmatian won the Best Dog Award. Congratulations! I'm just Dottie for dogs. <laughs> hello everyone! Welcome to ABC Monsters Brainy Gang. Say hello to our friends Alice, Brian and Cherryberry. Today, we're going to find out about the delightful letter D. But first, we'll need the help of a special member of the Brainy Gang, D-Monster. D-Monster enjoys singing, so we're all going to sing a brand new song for him. Are you ready?
fierce dee monster practicing on his drum. And look, here comes Cherry Berry. Can you work out what letter the drum has turned into? That's right, it's the letter D. D. All together now, say it with me. D. <laughs> Look at D Monster! He's trying to play the letter D. I don't think he'll make much music with it. Let's see if you can write the letter D with D Monster. Have you got your paper and pencil? Okay then, we're drawing a big... D. That's right. Well done. Let's try and do another big D. You've just written the letter D. D Monster's very happy because we can all write his favorite letter. D. Now we all know how to write the letter D. Take a look at the following words that begin with D. Do you know what this musical instrument is called? Here's a clue. It's very loud and you hit it to make a noise. Have you worked out what it is yet? Shout out the answer if you know. That's right! It's a drum! Drum. D-R-U-M. Drum. That's right! Let's say it one more time. Drum. D R U M Drum Okay, here's another puzzle for you to solve. Can you guess what type of bird this is? It has a flat beak and swims in the water. Do you know what it's called? That's right! It's called a duck! Now let's see what the word duck looks like. D-U-C-K Duck Excellent! Let's say that again. Duck D-U-C-K Duck You've answered two questions correctly. Do you think you can solve the third and final question? Here it is. Do you know what this animal is called? Here's a clue. This animal chews bones, chases cats, and likes to bark and fetch sticks. Have you worked out the answer yet? That's right! It's a dog! And here's what the word dog looks like. Say it with me. Dog. D-O-G. Dog. That's right! Let's say it together once more. Dog. D-O-G Dog Excellent! We learned three new words together. Can you think of any more words that begin with the letter D? Everyone in the Brainy Gang needs to keep fit and active. So get ready for another fun-packed ABC Monster Move! Hello everyone! Clap your hands in the air if you want to have some fun! Great work, everyone! Now it's time to get fit with the ABC Monsters. And today, we'll be doing the D Monster Move. Watch Alice closely as she shows you what to do. It's easy! If Alice can do it, so can you. Are you ready? Here we go! Use your body to make a big D. That's it! That wasn't so hard, was it? Shall we try that again? A big D! That's it! Now you know the D monster move. We can all do it together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. That was fun! Let's see if you can do it again. Are you ready? Okay then. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. 
Cool! Brilliant! You've successfully completed the D monster move. Now let's have a short rest to get our breath back. Because next, it's the ABC monster quest. Look everybody, it's Dotty the Dalmatian. She's a friendly little dog, isn't she? Dotty belongs to Danny Davison. He's waiting in the park. She must be lost. We'll have to guide her way. Don't worry, Dotty. We'll help you find Danny. Can you help Dotty the Dalmatian find her owner, Danny? Just fill in the box with the correct letter and help guide her along the path. Look carefully at the following letters. Can you tell me which one fits correctly in the box to make a word? Is it Y? U? Or the letter K? That's right! The correct letter is U. Drum. D R U M. Drum. You solved the first word correctly. But can you work out this next puzzle? Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Letter S. A or D? Right again! The letter we need to put into the box is D. Duck. D U C K. Duck. Well done! Now for the final puzzle. Do you think you can complete it? Which letter should we put into the box? Is it F, T, or could it be the letter G? Excellent answer! You successfully picked the correct letter again, the letter G. Well done! Three out of three. Dog, D, O, G, Dog. Brilliant! You've cleverly guided Dotty the dog to her owner, Danny. Thank you for finding my dog! Hooray! I hope you enjoyed finding out about the letter of the day, Delightful D. But before we go, let's sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherryberry, and our very special star of the show, D Monster. Join the Brainy Gang again for some more fun and adventures with the ABC Monsters. <laughs>